KTV's Jesse Gary tells us that CAL FIRE has enlisted the help of high-tech helicopters from Southern California to battle the flames. For the first time in Northern California, the fight to stop flames is taking place above the fray and at night. Hello, my name is David Clark. Firefighter David Clark says for two nights, Chinook Type 1 helicopters have been brought up from Southern California. Pilots are descending to 100 feet above the flames and dropping 3,000 gallons of water or fire retardant during each run. They use a night vision goggle. They can use their night vision capabilities to, to fly and make targets of opportunity drops on suppression activity and uh, help suppress the fire. The Caldor fire grew again overnight and now stands at over 126,000 acres. Crews have managed only 11% containment as it inches its way toward the Lake Tahoe Basin. Large fires, when they do get to this size, are notoriously hard to make the containment line around, especially under these drought conditions that we're seeing. Those conditions, improving slightly over the next week, are still coupled with 13 major wildfires burning statewide. The result in the Lake Tahoe area is hazy air and masks as a must-have. You're having a pizza and there's ashes landing in your pizza. Nine federal parks have been closed and area businesses are also taking a hit as tourist towns have become ghost towns. It's impacted us tremendously. We're contemplating every day, do we, do we stay open, do we close? Meanwhile, firefighters continue efforts to keep the Caldor fire from spreading beyond Highway 50 and into more populated areas. It's going to create some more challenging spaces for firefighters to be able to actively suppress the fire, which is why we're seeing a lot of air support coming in here. Late Wednesday, Cal Fire officials said they're moving nighttime helicopter operations from the Caldor fire to the French fire because of an immediate threat to structures there. In San Jose, Jesse Gary, KTVU, Fox 2 News.